So let me get this straight. Y'all can cancel who y'all want to cancel as long as it's nobody like the U.S. government. What I'm talking about is how in God's name did black America allow the U.S. government to get away with imprisoning millions of black males for being caught with an herb. You know, marijuana. I done came a long way like I was K Slay. In my heyday, I was young and productive. Still productive. You gotta love it. If you hate it, I don't give a fuck. Cause whether you suckers like it or not, I get a lot of love. They trying to hold me back, but I'm a fucking boss. Nobody telling me shit. That's how you cut a loss. Before it happened, I gotta try to keep my sanity. Lord knows I gotta try to stay away from vanity. I only troll five bitches. What's going on, guys? I already know who it is. It's King Leo coming at you again. After I finish this, this uh, recording right here, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my music. Yes, I still make music, okay? Goddamn fucking kids out there. You know what? Never mind them. You might hear some noise in the background, but it's unfortunate. Um, this is the, this is where I live right now, and these uh, scoundrels are going to keep being loud. Anyway, that's a completely different topic. Look, um, I'm making this video because there was something that was on my mind late, uh, recently. And what's been on my mind, guys, is uh, how the hell... Did black America, you know, when, when Bill Clinton was president, how did we allow him, you know, the first black president? Since you black people love loved Bill Clinton so much, the first black president, because he smoked a little bit of weed. Y'all are pathetic. Y'all are pathetic. Anyway, <clears throat> your first black president call black men super predators. Not only did he call black men super predators, but he treated them like super predators. Bill Clinton was the one that that started the law to where um you know, whoever's caught with marijuana, you know, whatever black male is is caught with marijuana, throw them in throw them in prison, even if you got a plan in them. Just put them in prison. You know what I'm saying? And then slap a record on him. Then he'll never be able to work again. Never again in his life. And that, that's what I don't understand, guys. Like, this, this, that part really, it really gets to me because the U.S. government has a way of mastering destruction. They're very evil and um, genius in their evil. You know what I'm saying? Um, this whole marijuana thing is ridiculous. Mostly because in California and Colorado, marijuana is 100% uh, legal. You know, you cannot and you will not get uh, locked up for being caught with marijuana in those states, Colorado and California. So you mean to tell me once upon a time, marijuana could kill people? Marijuana was, was just like cocaine and now uh, it doesn't hurt anybody? See, this is the point I'm trying to make, guys. It was a game all along. It was a game. The game was modern-day slavery. That was the game. Let's collect as many of these black sons of, sons of bees. Let's collect as many of them as we possibly could and throw them, throw them under the prison. And let's, let's give them the harshest sentences. Okay? That was the goal. And, uh... You know, and then um, every last one of them, or, or at least the majority of them, will, will never be able to work again, ever. Because every, no matter where they try to work, no matter where they apply, a weed charge, a, f a f effing marijuana charge is going to pop up on their background. Do you know how ridiculous that is? The way I, the way I see it, guys, is like this. If marijuana is no longer illegal, then it was never dangerous to begin with. 
That's number one. Number two, free all, free all the black men that you locked up back in the Clinton, since back in the Clinton days for marijuana. Free every last one of them and clear their record. Wipe their record clean because marijuana is legal all of a sudden. You see how the U.S. government plays with black men? They play with black men's lives. Don't nobody take the black man seriously. Now, now my, my biggest thing is the fact that no, there, there, was, there wasn't an uproar when this was all happening. There wasn't, an out, there wasn't um, any uproar. You know, there were no marches, there were there were no protests, there was nothing that happened. And the U.S. government was just able to come in and lock up as many of your brothers, your uncles, your cousins, your siblings as they possibly could and get away with it. And you sat there and did nothing about it. But here we are in 20, 2018. Uh, uh, 2019 and um, you know the only thing black people are good for is taking down other black people okay anyway um, as far as marijuana is concerned we all know that white boys smoke the most weed man white boys love weed man <sighs> man they stay with the weed White boys stay with the weed, but you know what? They ain't the ones, tar they, ain't the, they are not the target. They are not the target. They are not the enemy, okay? That's why even if a white boy did get arrested for some, mar for some marijuana, he'll, nine times out of 10, he'll get his record wiped clean within like a year or less than a year. He'll get, he'll get his record wiped clean. He can go right back to work as if nothing ever happened. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> he go right back to work as if nothing ever happened. Okay, this really does happen, guys. Um, it, it's, it's sad. It's sad. And um, I think the biggest problem with everything that I'm talking about is black people. How dare you, you people, allow this to happen? We can overthrow governments. We have the power to make change. If we stick together, you know what I'm saying? Especially now, you know, but um, y'all are too concerned about what P. Diddy's doing with Lori Harvey. Y'all too concerned about Oprah Winfrey and Drake and Jay-Z and what the, f what the F they got going on in their damn life, you know? Y'all ain't worried about um, the atrocities that have been, been done to young black males and preventing them from ever being able to work a, a normal job. Do you know what that does? Do you know what that does to a man? When, when, when no matter where he goes, when they do a background check and they find out that he got a charge, they say, no, we can't have you here because you were caught with fucking marijuana. Because marijuana is going to fucking kill you, right? It's going to fucking murder you, right? Marijuana, you know, the same herb that grows from the fucking earth. I'm sorry, guys, for the, for the, for the language. I'm just really pissed off right now. Um, I'm pissed off at the game the government plays with black men's lives. And, and, and we just let them get away with it. Every time, man. Every time. You know. But when it's time to shoot a brother, murder a brother, we oh well, we quick to do that. When it's time when it's time to rob somebody, when it's time to stab somebody, oh we quick to we quick to jump on that. Oh yeah, yep, cause y'all so tough, right? You so tough, but you so pussy at the same time. You so tough, but you a fucking coward at the same time. That's why I, I, that's why I don't really respect you, gangsta. You so called gangsters. I don't respect you. I don't fucking respect you because the only target that you got, the only target that you're going after are weak people, people that are not like you, people that people don't, that, that, that uh, have a lesser reputation than, uh, uh, than you do. You know what I'm saying? You know that phrase, catch them slipping. 
catch them slipping basically means I'm ready and you're not. I know I'm ready and I know you're not, so I'm gonna take advantage of that situation. So how the, so how the hell am I gonna respect gangsters? How, how am I gonna respect gangster? Can't respect, that's not gangster, man. That ain't gangster. Anyway, y'all already know what it is, it's King Leo. I don't know if y'all could tell, but my um, my tripod is different, it's smaller. My old one broke, so I got me a smaller one. This is, this, the height that you see right now, that's the tallest it could get. So now, y'all get to get a close up of me, but anyway. Um, this video is done, guys. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, share this video with family and friends. I greatly appreciate it. I right. peace. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. You can keep that $30, boy, I made of money. That's lesson learned, yo, that's why it's hard to trust.